All right, um, Chapter 8, Motor Power and Equipment Compliance Manual, the FRA 2013. Um, statute 229-125, headlight and auxiliary lights. Each lead lo lead locomotive will be used in the railroad show. I have a headlight that produces the peak of the intensity of at least 200,000 candelas. Uh, if the locomotive the locomotive consists of the road surface regularly required for the run backward for the portion of the, of the tramp, other than to pick up the dead, detached portion of the train and make terminal movement, it is also have the rear of the headlight to produce at least 200,000 candelas. Uh, each headlight shall be arranged in an illuminated person at least 800 feet ahead of and in front of the train. Uh, for all purposes in section, headlights should be compromised for either one or two lamps. If a locomotive is equipped with a single lamp, the headlight with a single lamp shall be produced at the peak intensity of at least 200,000 candelas. The following meetings stand forth at the paragraph A1 of the paragraph parts 56, 200 watt, 330 volt lamp or lamp equivalent design intensity. If a locomotive is equipped with a double dual lamp headlight at the peak of the intensity of the 200,000 candelas shall be produced with a headlight based on the either the single lamp capable of individually producing the required peak intensity on the candela producing the headlight with both lamps illuminated. If the both lamps are needed to produce the required peak intensity the both lamps of the headlight shall be operational. The following meet, um, meeting shall stand or set for the paragraph A2 of the single power 56 200 watt 30 volt lamp the two operative power 56 350 volt 75 volt lamps or lamps Lamps equivalent designed in spe intensity. B. Each locomotive or locomotive consistent in using the yard surface shall have two headlights, one located in the front and locomotive in the locomotive. Locomotive consists of one in its rear. Each of the headlights shall be produced at least two six sixty hundred sixty thousand candelas and shall be arranged to illuminate the person at at least three hundred feet ahead and in front of the headlight. And C. Headlights are provided with a device to dim the head um, dim the light. The effective date December thirty first nineteen seventy one or sorry effective December thirty first nineteen seven ninety seven. The effective locomotive operated with a speed greater than twenty miles per hour over the more public highway grade whale crashes shall be equipped with opera book auxiliary rights in addition with the headlight required for the paragraph A and B of the section locomotive equipped with march x 1996 the auxiliary lights confined ornaments of statute 229 133 shall be deemed to conform with this section of march 6 2000 all locomotives in compliance with statute 229 133 shall be deemed to conform with the section auxiliary lights shall be composed as follows uh Two white auxiliary lights shall be placed in the front of the, the locomotive to form a triangle in the, with a headlight. The auxiliary lights shall be at least 36 inches from the top of the rail, except from the motor locomotive of the locomotive with the control cab locomotives, where such place, placement would be compromising the integrity of the car body and be otherwise impractical. Auxiliary lights on such mo mo multiple unit locomotives, control cab locomotives, shall be at least 24 inches from the, the top of the rail. The auxiliary lights shall be placed in at least 36 inches apart. Vertical distance of the headlight to be horizontal axle of the lights of the 60 inches and more. The auxiliary light shall be spaced at least 60 inches apart of the vertical distance of the headlight is in a horizontal axis. The auxiliary light is less than 60 inches. Each auxiliary light shall be produce a peak intensity of the 200,000 candela light shall produce at least 3,000 candela at a 7.5 degree angle, 400 candela at, at an angle of 20 degrees. The center line of the locomotive where the light is set in the aim parallel to the tracks. Any of the following meeting is set standard with the paragraph of the D2, the power of 56, 200 watt, 300 volt lamp, the power of 56, 350 volt watt, or 75 volt lamp, the lamp equivalent to design intensity. The auxiliary light shall be focused the horizontal within 15 degrees of the longitudinal center in line of the locomotive. Auxiliary lights will be required in paragraph D of this section may be arranged to burn steadily, flashing on approach of the crossing. The auxiliary lights are arranged to flash. They shall flash alternately to rate the flash at least fla 40 flashes per minute with the last most 80 per flashes per minute. The railroad operating rules shall be standard set of procedure for the use of flashing lights of the public highway railway grade crossing. Flashing feature may be activated, but automatically shall be capable of manual act activation, deactivation by locomotive engineering. Auxiliary rights required in the paragraph D of the section shall be continuously illuminated improperly during the movement of the locomotive, except as provided with the railroad operating rules. Timetable of special instruction and less exemption to approved by the FRA of the railroad may accept use of auxiliary lights at specific rule. Public rail, highway, railway, grade rate costing designating that the exceptions of the railway operating rules, timetable, special order, and exemptions of the use of auxiliary lights are expensive. A public grade crossing can be disapproved by the state caused by the FRA Association Administration for safety and any one of the use of the FRA Regional Administrator after the investigation of the FRA opportunity for the response for the railroad. 
All right, G, movement is of the locomotive the defect of auxiliary lights. A lead locomotive with only one file, failed auxiliary light maybe must be repaired and switched to the trailing position before the departure of the place where an initial terminal inspection is required for that train. A locomotive with only one auxiliary light that has a failed after the departure from the initial terminal oil must be repaired not later than the next calendar inspection required by statute 229.21. A lead locomotive with two failed auxiliary lights may not only proceed um, may not may only proceed to be the next place where the repairs can be made. This movement must um, be consistent with Statute 229.9. H. Any locomotive subject to Part 229 that was built before December 31st, 1948, there was not a use of the regular regularly computer intercity passenger service shall be considered the historically equipment and expected with the requirements of Paragraph D and through the H of the section. The candle rating established with the section corresponded with the intensity level in plasticity um, required under the prior rules of Part 230. The rule was for the performance standard, but required not only the illuminated person the 800 feet above from front of the headlight, but the engineer and operating compartment of the process, the visual capacity to see in the clear of the outer atmosphere of the dark object is larger than a man of average size standing erect at least 800 feet ahead in front of the front, in front of the headlight. Uh, the inspector should be aware that all the qualifier in this section is that the only lead locomotive must be equipped with the prescribed light. Inter -loc intermediate locomotives in the consistent unoperative headlights are not to be considered as not complying. Also, requirements the rear and headlights on the railroad on the locomotives are had been certain conditions. The inspector should take an appropriate enforcement action when a headlight is found defective. However, if the locomotive has a light arrangement using two sealed beam headlights, the inspector must association whether they are 200 watts, 300 volt lamps, or if they are 350 watts, 70 volt lamps. The reason becomes the dual light system is using the 200 watt 30 volt lamps. Both lamps were having defective part um, before enforcement action can be taken. However, the inspector shall be taking appropriate enforcement action if one of the bolts is defective dual light system using a 350 volt 70 volt watt lamp. There have been instances where some of the locomotives have an auxiliary lights, ditch lights, instead of the manner that covers a portion of the uncoupling levers which serve as the end of the handle of the locomotive. If the condition exists, it should be handled by the direction for the column. Correction, the following question and answering that had been previously issued by the technical bulletin that addressed the many in in inquiries concerning application, operation, inspection requirements, auxiliary lights. When does the locomotive have to be equipped with auxiliary lights? Each, each light locomotive that operates over one or more public grade crossings at speed greater than 20 miles an hour should be equipped with one, uh, operative auxiliary lights on the for, forward end of the locomotive as it approaches the public highway railway grade crossing. Two, what are the public highway railway crossings as it applies to auxiliary lights? It is the location where the railroad tracks intersect the road, roadway that is part of the general system of public streets and highways and under the jurisdiction of the maintained by the public authority to open the general traveling public. What are auxiliary lights? Auxiliary lights are two white lights proceeding in the least 200,000 candelas that are located in the front of the locomotive to form a triangle with the locomotive headlight. They must be motioned for at least 36 inches above the top of the rail, except the multiple unit in the locomotive's control cab locomotives, where such placement would be impractical. So on such multiple unit locomotives, cab control locomotives, light shall be motioned at least 24 inches above the top of the rail or the mounting Focusing requirements are listed statute 229.125D. There are arrangements that are grandfathered to satisfy auxiliary reliance requirements. Where where are the grandfather arrangements? Oscillating lights may have full requirements for the section 229.125D. The auxiliary lights provided with immediately grandfather the requirements section 229.133C1. One and E auxiliating lighting meeting requirements of section 229.133B4 A and B A or B was ordered for installation on the locomotive prior to the January 1st, 1996. Note that part 229.133B4 A refers to traditional mechanical oscillation lights of Mars Geiler style lights where we are all setting Whereas sections of 229.131B4B B, versus electronic oscillation alternating flashing lights at one location on the front of the locomotive and not separated with regular auxiliary lights would be aimed at within 5 degrees of the center line of the locomotive. If it was installed after January 1st, 1996, it does not qualify. Three strobe lights that were applied to the locomotive prior to 6th, 1996 will satisfy auxiliary lights requirements until the locomotive is entire 
enter either retired or rebuilt, whichever comes first. Both the speed of the locomotive is restricted to 40 miles an hour when used as the lead locomotive. All right, for two auxiliary white lights spaced on at least 44 inches apart, but on the top, uh, at least one axis where they installed the lower locomotive prior to the March 30th. May 30th, 1994, satisfy the auxiliary light requirements until the locomotive is either rebuilt or retired. Whatever comes first, this headlight arrangement commonly used in the commuter service. Do auxiliary lights have the right to um, have the work to when the calendar day inspection is performed? All auxiliary lights are treated the same as headlights when the calendar day inspections are performed. Six, when do auxiliary lights have to be illuminated? Auxiliary illuminate lights remain continuously illuminated immediately prior to, during, and the movement of locomotives, except as provided per railroad operating rules table special instructions. This is not increasing conspicuity of the public highway railway grade crossing, but also addresses private crossing pedestrians and roadway workers. Seven, do lights have to flash approaching on the crossing? The lights may burn steadily and flash pulse on an approach while passing over a public highway or grade crossing. Are there circumstances where the lights can be legally extinguished? Yes, the, ring, uh, the regulations permit the railroad to designate specific locations where auxiliary lights can be extinguished as long as they are designated locations identified in either the railroad operating rules timetable special written instruction. They would prime to typically be at a location where the existing operating rules require headlights to be dimmed, such as the station while passing and passing in another train in yards where switching in is performed at a location where the train operation parallels the public highway. The tight night vision or motor risk would be impaired with the use of auxiliary lights and exemption within the use of auxiliary lights as the specific locations are subject to disapproval of the FRA Associated Administration for the Railroad Safety Chief Safety Officer of one of the FRA Regional Administrators after investigation and opportunity for the response of the rail, um, railroad for the r good cause. Nine. Can a train be dispatched from an internal ter in, from an inter initial terminal without auxiliary lights on the lead locomotive? If the lead locomotive is not equipped with auxiliary lights, the train can be dispatched out of an in initial terminal without understanding the locomotive cannot operate over the in op any public highway, railway grade crossing at a speed greater than 20 miles an hour. Otherwise, the lead locomotive is equipped with auxiliary lights and all must be functioning on the end of the locomotive in forward direction of the training movement. 10. Can a train leave the internal term, the initial terminal with one high light defective on the lead? No, all auxiliary lights must be working on the lead locomotive in the forward direction of the train movement. What about in route failures? If one light becomes defective in route, the locomotive can continue operating the lead of the track speed. The defective light must be repaired no later than the next calendar day. The locomotive can be not used in lead position out of the initial terminal unless repairs were made. If two lead lights become defective in route, the locomotive train may only re proceed to the next location where repairs can be made. The locomotive is restricted to 20 miles an hour less than the overall public highway railway grade crossings until the light is also functioning. 12. If the mecha mechanism that caused the oscillating light to oscillate is defective, how should it be conditioned and treated? This should, um, this should would be treated with a complete failure with auxiliary light. It could not be dispatched with the initial terminal as lead unit. If failure occurred at the end of the route, would be repaired at the next point when the repairs could be made. When the locomotive is restricted 20 miles per hour over the public of the highway railway grade crossing. Thirteen, our locomotives they operate in both dire direction, both dual control required to be the equipped for the auxiliary lights and in each and the end of the locomotive. These ty types of locomotives shall be to be equipped in each end of the sense they are frequently operated lead in both directions. However, the, the locomotive is equipped with auxiliary lights on only one end they can only be dispatched out. The initial terminal is the lead of the unit. If the equipment end is placed in the forward direction of the train movement, if during the trip is the same as the locomotive made over the reverse me move as the lead moment is restricted to 20 miles per hour overall public highway grade crossing. All right, uh, 14, when a speed restriction at a public highway railway grade crossing is required, do the, does this mean that the whole train is restricted to 20 miles per hour over the crossing? No, just the lead locomotive is restricted to 20 miles per hour over the crossing. 15. Are steam locomotives required to be equipped with auxiliary lights? No. Any, also, any locomotive before, that was built before in December 1st, 1948, which is not used in a commuter inner city passenger service, is expected to accepted for the auxiliary light requirements. Motor power equipment 98.3.
All right, 229, 127, locomotive um, cab, or cab lights. Each locomotive shall have with cab lights, which will provide the sufficient illumination for the control of the instrument meters gauges to enable the engine crew to have make an accurate and normal position in the cab. These lights shall be located and constructed, maintained so the light shines only on those parts requiring illumination and does not interfere with the crew's vision of the track signals. Each controlling locomotive shall also conveniently locate a light that can, uh, can read readily turned on and off before a person operating a locomotive that provides the sufficient illumination for them to read the track train orders and timetables. Um, cab passage and compartments shall have adequate illumination and some guidance. Um, section B, the preamble to the rule states that in, it was intended to be similar with the form of the rule 230-233. This includes the qualifier that employees are required to pass from one cab to another platform. Passageways between them shall be eliminated. There are no passageways to the roadway switcher of the locomotives. These are found on the car body type of the locomotives where po people walk inside. Illumination is born in light ways. Lights are inside of the car body of the roadway switcher type of locomotive are not to be considered as compartment lights and should not be taken in non compliant condition. Their criteria when the passageway exists and illumination must be provided with the lights. Uh, lights maintain the same t is true with the walkway. Platforms do between locomotives on the roadway switcher to the flashway. Other hand held to held lights does not satisfy the requirements of this rule. Statute 229 129, locomotive arm. Each lead, lead locomotive shall be equipped with a locomotive arm that produces a maximum sound level of 96 decibels autumn, a maximum sound level, um, minimum sound level of 96 decibels, 110 decibels at 100 feet forward of the locomotive in the direction of the travel. Locomotive horn shall be arranged so that it can be conveniently operated with the ears usual position during the operation of the, of the locomotive. Each locomotive built on seven, after September 18, 2016 shall be tested in accordance with the section to ensure the horn is installed in such a locomotive in compliance with the paragraph A of the section of locomotives built in honor after September 18, 2016. Or 2006 may, however, be tested in accordance with the acceptance sampling scale of the probability of 0 0.5 less than rejecting a lot of reject portion deficiency equal to the ASQ of 1% or less as set forth in 7 CFR Part 43. Each locomotive built in part before September 18, 2006 shall be tested in accordance with the section before the June 24, 2010 to ensure the horn is installed on such locomotive in compliance with the barrier of the A of this section. Each remanufactured length locomotive is determined pursuant to the section 229.5 um, shall be tested in accordance with the section to ensure the horn is installed with such locomotive in compliance with the paragraph A. For acceptance provided in paragraph B four to the section each of the locomotives is equipped with the replacement of the locomotive horn shall be tested in accordance with the paragraph C of this section before the next two annual tests are required in the statute two twenty nine twenty seven and the pet are completed. Locomotives have already been tested individually through the acceptance sampling in accordance with the paragraph B one, B two, and B three of this section. Shall not be required to undergo the sound leveling device testing when equipped with the replacement locomotive horn provided with the replacement locomotive horn is one of the same model of the locomotive horn that was replaced in the mounting location type of the mounting area are the, are the same. Testing of the locomotive horn and sound level shall be in accordance with the following requirements. A properly calibrated sound level meter shall be used with a minimum that complies with the requirements of the International Electrotechnical Commission Standard 616721-2002-05 for Class II instruments. An autistic calibrator shall be used with a minimum that complies with the requirements of IEC 60942-1970. 1997-11 for Class II instruments. The manufacturing instruction pertaining to the mounting, mount, mounting and orientation microphone, microphone positioning that for observed and periodic factor and recalibration and shall be followed. Motor, uh, microphone widescreen shall be used with the tripod. Similar microphone motion, motion shall be used with the minimized interference with the sound being measured. The test shell site shall be free of the flat, large reflective structures such as barriers, hills, billboards, tractor trailers, other large vehicles, locomotives, or rail cars, the adjacent tracks, bridge, bridges, the buildings with 200 feet of the front and side of the locomotive. The locomotive shall be positioned on a straight level track. Sixth, the measurement shall be taken when the ambient temperature is between 32 degrees and 140 degrees Fahrenheit, inclusive with relative humidity is between 200 to 95% inclusive. Wind velocity is not more than 5 miles per hour, or there is no precipitation. And there is no precipitation. With the exemption of the cab mounted light and low mounted horn, the microphone shall be located 100 feet forward of the front knuckle of the locomotive, to 15 feet above the top of the rail, at an angle no greater than 20 degrees from the center of the line of the track, and orientated with respect to the sound source in accordance to the manufacturer recommendation. For the cab mounted low mounted horns, for the Microsoft 
Microphone shall be located with 100 feet forward of the front knuckle of the locomotive, 4 feet above the top of the rail, at an angle of no greater than 20 degrees from the center line of the track, orientated with respect to the sound. Sound according with the manufacturer recommendation. Observation shall be between microphone and the horn. Background noise shall be minimal in the sound level for the test site the immediately before each after the sound has been sh shall be at least 10 decibels below the level measured during the hound horn sounding. Measure precision. The sound level meter shall be, except for the A weighting with a slow exponential response, shall be calibrated with the acoustic calibrator immediately before the after the compliance testing. After changing it before the calibration level set, shall be less than a half a decibel. After out, the um, locomotive horn system shall be reached the stable level. The A weighted equivalent sound level slow response for a 10 second duration. Um, shall be obtained either during the using of the integration uh, averaging sound level meter recorded once per second calculated indirectly the arithmetic average of a series or at least six uh, ten second duration readings should be used to determine the compliance the standard deviation of the reading shall be at least less than one and a half decibel with written reports, locomotive horn testing required with the past parts shall be um, shall reflect the horn type, the date, time, policy, manner of testing, sound level measurements. These reports shall be designed, but the person who performs the test shall be retained for the railroad at a location of the choice. While well, until the subsequent subsequential locomotive horn is completed, with the shell be made available upon the request of the FRA provided with the Title 49 U.S. Standard Code 20107. D. The section does not apply to the locomotives of the rapid transit operation, which are otherwise subject to the this part. Guidance TBD 229-3131 Sanders. Except for multiple unit locomotives, each locomotive shall be equipped with the operable sanders that deposit sand on each of the rail in front of the first power to operated wheels set in the direction of the movement. The guidance of the section of the two qualified multiple unit locomotives is accepted that each locomotive consists of the two oper have operable sands and such deposit in front of the first power operated wheel set in the direction of the movement. It serves to the facility where the direction of the locomotive consists of the unknown and the inspector should require the railroad to have all outboard sanders operational prior to the departure. However, if the locomotive is inspected, uh, at a ha head end of the train, only the sanders in the direction of the train move may, must be operational. Locomotives used in the yard and switching, which normally move in both directions, should have op outboard sanders operational. A uh, hole in the sand delivery pipe is not an operative sander. The measure, um, Most presence of the hole in the sander hose in the pipe is not sufficient to establish violation under Section 229.131. Without detailed discussion of the hole impacts on the sander ability to operate, the FRA requires the establishment that the sander is not depositing sand in front of the wheel. However, the sand is being discharged at an eye level, constituting a personal injury hazard, and it should be reported under Section 229.45. Two twenty nine one thirty three interim locomotive conspicuous measurement measures auxiliary external lights. Guidance for this section you can be found in so that's your two twenty nine one twenty five headlights and auxiliary lights. Two twenty nine one thirty five event recorders duty to equip record except as provided in paragraph C and D of the section the train operated faster than thirty miles per hour. So I have an in service event the recorder that describes in paragraph B of the section the lead locomotive the president of the event recorder shall be noted with the form FRA six one eighty forty nine A by writing making a model of the event recorder with the locomotives equipped under the remarks section set for the event recorder designed to allow the locomotive to assume the lead com um, position. Only if the recorder is promptly functioning is not required to have the presence noted in the form FRI 6180-49A. For this purpose, the section train includes the locomotive group of locomotives with or without cards. The duty of the equip of the lead locomotive may meet the event of the record located elsewhere. Then the lead locomotive provided with the such an event recorder monitors record the required data as though if they were located in the lead locomotive, the event recorder shall record the most 48 hours of operational electrical system of the locomotive on which it was installed. B. Equipment requirements. Event recorders shall monitor and record data elements paragraph uh, with at least the accuracy required in indication indicators displaying any of the required elements of the, to an engineer. A lead locomotive originally ordered by for October 1st, 2006, placed in service by October 1st, 2009, included the controlling remote control distributed power of the locomotive, a lead man held to locomotive, a direct m multiple unit locomotive, a multiple unit locomotive, except as provided in paragraph C and D of this section. 
Um, Shelby had in service the event recorded for the records of the following data. Train speed, selected direction of motion, time, distance, throttle, position, application of operation, train, automatic brake, application of operation of the independent brake, application of operation of the dynamic brake, if so, cat, whipped, and two, nine um, cab signal aspects, if so, equipped, and in use. Two, a locomotive original manufacturer before October 1st, 2006, equipped with an event recorder, shoes, magnetic tape, its recording medium shall have record removed from the service on October 1st, on or before October 1st, 2009, replaced with an event recorder with a certified crash for the event record memory module meets, meets the requirements of Appendix D of the part and the part and the records are at least the same number of the data elements for this, that record is replaced. All right, um, a lead locomotive, a lead main man, man helper locomotive with control and remotely distributed power locomotive or other direct mo lo mul multiple unit locomotives, uh, multiple unit locomotives or originally ordered from the on or after October 1st, 2006, placed in service on or October 1st, 2009, shall be equipped with an event recorded with the certified brush or the event recorded memory module and the meet the requirements of the appendix D of this part. The certified event record memory module shall mounted for the maximum protection, although other mounting standards may be meeting in standards of event record memory module but mounted behind and below the top of the conclusion post and above the platform level is deemed to be mounted for the maximum protection the event of the recorder shall be recorded certified crash weather event record memory module shall return the following data elements one the train two the train speed the selected direction of motion time distance throttle position application operation to, uh, train automatic brakes emergency application system should provide a meaning of determining the brake application release for the voltage for the manipulation brake control position normally occupied by the locomotive engineer in the case of brake application the release of the responsible command with originating with the executed onboard computer electronic braking system control locomotive electronic control system or the train control computer the system shows the record of the provided with the means of the determining involvement of any such computer six or seven the application of operation independent brakes the application of operation dynamic brakes if required nine capable cap signal aspects if equipped in use ten end of the train device loss of communication front of the rear rear to front eleven electronic con controlled magnetic brake message and loss and such a message if so equipped 12, uh, end of the train, armed emergency brake command, emergency brake application, 13, indication of the end of the train, valve failure, end of the train, brake pipe pressure, end of the train, east, end of the train, mark light on or off, end of the train, low battery status, um, 17, minute position of on and off switch headlights of the lead locomotive, position of on and off switch of the auxiliary lead lights of the lead locomotive, um, 19, horn, Control handle activation locomotive number, locomotive automatic brake valve cut in locomotive brake position consisting of lead trail. Um, 23 traction effort, 24 cruise control on or off is so equipped and in use. 25 safety critical train control data required with the locomotive injury to display engineer required to comply with specifically included text message conveying mandatory or directive mandatory maximum authority speed. Um, the format content produced by the duration of the retention of such data shall be specified in the product safety plan submitted with the train control system under subpart H, part 236 of this chapter. Subjects the FRA approval under the paragraph if it can be calibrated against the data required. By this part, such train control data may, uh, may at the election of the railroad be retained as separate certified or crash worthy memory, memory module. A direct um, multiple unit or multiple unit locomotive originally ordered on and after October 1st, 2016, placed in service on or after October 1st, 2009, shall be equipped with an event recorder or certified with a crash event worthy um, record module that meets the requirements of Appendix D of this part, and the certified event record mod memory module shall be mounted for the maximum protection. Although other mounting standards meet the standards, in an event of the record memory, memory module mounted behind the collision post and above the platform level is deemed mounted for its maximum protection for the event record shall record the certified crash where the event record memory modules should retain the top following train speed selective the direction locate the motion time distance throttle position application operations train automatic brakes emergency application system shall be provided with the main determined the brake application release resulted from manipulation brake controls the position normally occupied with the locomotive engineer in case of the brake application of the release there's a response to a command originating for the ex executed by an onboard computer electrical braking system control locomotive of electronic control system train control computer the system share shall record provided means of determining with the improvement involvement of any such computer Computer um, seven application operation independent brakes if so equipped application operation dynamic brakes if equipped nine cab signal aspects if so equipped and emergency brake application twelve wheels um, 
wheel slip slide alarm, alarm activation proper specific minimum duration 13 lead locomotive headlight activation so switch off activate um 14 lead locomotive auxiliary activation switch on and off 15 hand control hand handle activation 17 16 locomotive number 17 locomotive position and leader trail Tractive effort, 18, 19, brake apply summary train line, 20, brake release summary train line, 21, cruise control off and if it's equipped, and 22, safety. Safety critical control data required for the locomotive engineer, engineers required with specifically include test man, mandatory directives, authorized speed, format, contact, proposed duration, retention, such data specified in production, safety plan submitted with the train control, so, this is under subpart H of part 236 chapter, subject of this chapter, subject to FRA approved within this chapter, if it can be calibrated against and other required by this part, so train control may be an election for the railroad, may be retained with a separate certified crash worthy memory, memory module. Locomotive equipment with event recorded and manufactured and defined in the part uh, on after October 1st, 2007 shall be equipped with an event recorded with the certified crash for their event record memory module that meets the requirements of Appendix D to this part that capable of recording at a minimum the same data as recorded with that was locomotive before it was manufactured. An event recorder, it was originally manufactured in January 1st, 2010, that is installed with locomotive identified in paragraph B1 of the section shall be an event recorded with certified crash for the event record memory module meeting the requirements of Appendix D of this part. The capable of recording minimum the same data the event recorder was previously on the locomotive. C. Removal from service. Notwithstanding the duty of the establishment of the paragraph A, the sum of the equipment certain for the locomotive with the in service event recorder or railroad may remove an event recorder from the service. If a railroad knows the event recorder is non monitoring recording required, data shall remove the event recorder from the service when required. Railroad removes an event recorder from the service. The qualified person shall record with the date of the device when removed from the service of the form FRA 6180.49A under the remarks section. Section Unless the event recorder is designed to allow the locomotive to assume the lead position of its own. It recorded and properly function. D. Responsive to defective equipment. Notwithstanding the duty established in paragraph A of this section, certain uh, um, locomotives with in service event recorder, locomotive on with the event recorder has been taken out of the service as provided with the paragraph C of this section, may remain as the lead locomotive until on, on next calendar day inspection. Locomotive with an operative event recorder is not deemed to be in operable condition, unsafe to operate in non compliant locomotive under section 229, 2, 7, 9. Other than the requirements of Appendix D of this part, inspection and maintenance of the testing event records are limited to the requirements set forth in 229, 25E, and 27D. Preservation and accident data. In the event of the locomotive equipment, the event recorder, any of the locomotive mounted requiring devices, the device is designed to record information concerning functioning of the locomotive, the training of the performed accident incident that required to report the FRA under the part 225 of this chapter. The railroad was in using the locomotive at the time of the accident shall, um, to the extent possible, to the extent consistent with the safety of life of the property, preserve the data in the record by each of the uh, such devices analyze the FRA, the preservation requirements of permit to the railroad to extract and analyze such data provided with the original download data file. The analyzed exact copy that shall be retained within secure custody shall not be utilized analyzed for any other purpose except for the direction of the FRA or National Transportation Safety Board for the preservation requirements shall expire one year after the date of an accident unless the FRA board are notified of the railroad written writing that the train data are de desires for the anal 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 analysts. Uh, for relationships to other all laws, nothing in this section intended to alter the legal authority of the law enforcement officials in investigating potential violations of the state criminal laws. Nothing in this chapter is intended to alert any of the way of the priority of the National Transfer Safety Board investigation under Title 49 U.S. Standard Code 1131 and 1134, nor authority of the Secretary of Transportation to investigate railroad accidents under Title 49 U.S. Standard Code 5121, 12-2-2-0-5-0-5-2-0-7-0-2-2-0-7-0-2-2-0-7-0-2-2-0-7-0-2-2-0-7-0-2-2-0-7-0-2-2-0-7-0-2-2-0-7-0-2-2-2-2-
of the shaft and disqualification for performing safety sensitive functions on the railroad if found unfit such duties under the procedure in part 29 of the chapter. I'm going to cut the tape there. We're at guidance.